Hello, the, you folks out there in Cyberland. This is Marlon of the Old Farts Hat channel. And what we're going to talk about right now is the problem that Ford parts have if you have power running boards. These are the parts from used from, um, I'm not sure the exact years. My one happens to be an 08, so if you look up 08 Lincoln Navigator, it'll give you all the years. They're used in the Navigator. They're also used in the Expeditions. Expeditions? Yeah, not the Excursions, the Expeditions. And the problem is the running boards will eventually come down and then stay there. And then you'll run over something, break them off, as I did on mine, have to come back and find that part. Anyway, messy. The pins, the problem is that the, the boards freeze up. The pins, as you can see, are stainless steel. These are, I'm sure, at least 15 years, 10, 12 years old. You know, they look great, aside from the fact that as you look right here and you see the black areas here, all that black is the plastic that is transferred out of these bushings and onto the rod. The net result is, since those the drive motors are torque limited, eventually you're sliding plastic over plastic. It says, no, that's too much, and it stops moving. You can spray some lube in there. It might move a little bit, but still, it's just not going to work. The bushings, as I said, are lined with a plastic. This is one of the liners that fell out of one of them. As you can see, there's a nice black plastic there, but it falls apart, as you can also see clearly. I mean, you know, this section is MIA, just gone. A bushing without its liner looks like this. Um, I mean, not a bad design. The inside's knurled so that the plastic has something to grab onto. They then plate it through. It splits so it pushes in relatively tightly but they just don't last they fall apart the solution well there's the optimum solution which i'm going to try um i'm going to try and turn up a set of bushings like these out of bronze the whole question is will i be able to turn that thin of a wall that thin of a section i'm not the greatest machinist in the world so we'll we'll try and we'll see if I do succeed that, I'll show it to you when, in the video when I finally, some years from now, get around to putting this back together. The other option is to buy a new set of bushings. There's a gentleman who sells a set of, what I think it's 18 bushings, 16 to do the rod, these rods, and then two for the motor bushings. He sells them over on eBay. The set sells for $39.99, call it $40. Bucks. And they ship, apparently, from all the comments quite quickly. And that's, the, of course, fast and dirty and easy way. What he does say to do is take the bushing, and before you try and put it in, come along with a cutoff wheel and a dim, Dremel tool and do a slit right here. These bushings, by the way, the rods, by the way, I'm sorry, are press fit in their arms. They push in and out. You have to heat up the arm and then use a press or something else it can be a little difficult. Now, the way to do that, as I said, is heat up the arm. So that brings us to another little subject. I might as well cover it here. And that is, do not piss off the old, I think it's Roman God Vulcan. Not the uh, Spock-based one, not the Star Wars one. Star Star Trek, I'm sorry. One. Um, old part, you know. I'm allowed brain parts. It's part of my life. And the reason being, because if you piss off that God of, you know, if you piss off Vulcan, you will uh, de-Vulcanize your bumper pads, as I did here. Oops. Fortunately, since I broke my arm, this is out of a replacement rear bracket I bought. So, I have another set of these that are still intact in my arm that's still on the navigator. So, but if you don't have another one of those handy, be careful you don't toast those. Anyway, as I said... The fix is clean up these, replace these with new, either make up your own bronze bushings or buy that set off eBay. I will put, by the way, the link to that set. There's another person that's selling them, maybe the same guy, I don't know. But the eBay link is viable, so 40 bucks. New set of bushings, about, you know, depends on how fast you are, if you have a press or if you have to heat them up and pound them out. One, some people have used uh, air chisels to drive them out. Anyway. But that's how you go about replacing and repairing your uh, running boards so they'll go up and down. 
I will be probably shooting another set of videos showing taking those pins out, putting them back in, assembling it, and all that good stuff in the near future. But for now, that's about all I have to cover. So again, I hope your life is going well. I hope you're not getting caught, because of course getting caught is what makes your life not go well. Until you get caught, it's all good, of course. Uh, shall we say, <laughs> at this point. And um, anyway, have fun. Bye-bye for now.